Garnet's Gold is a documentary film which follows um, Garnet Frost, this rather extraordinary uh, man, um, as he goes on a sort of hopelessly romantic, utterly quixotic journey deep into the Scottish Highlands uh, in search of a buried treasure, a lost gold from 250 years ago that's worth a reported billion dollars. But the closer Garnet gets to the gold, the more elusive it becomes. Um, and slowly but surely, his journey, his search for gold, transforms into a more introspective, a more human search for uh, for meaning, for purpose, um, and ultimately for love. Um, and we hope it's a film which will resonate with, with audiences everywhere because the themes that are central to Garnet's journey are themes which are hopefully uh, very important in, in all of our lives about whether we've, we've made something of our lives. Um, and uh, yeah, it's been a real privilege to spend four years of my life trying to tell Garnet's story. Well, Garnet, how is it for you having just a guy following you around with a camera for four years, essentially? Uh, well, it wasn't too bad. <laughs> uh, oh, Ed's a lovely guy, and uh, you know we found we hit it off quite well. You know, to start off with, and we got to know one another, you know, fa fairly rapidly, but um, and establish you know a rapport and a bond. And Ed's uh, very good at what he does. You know, he's kind of. I don't know, he's a hard man to know in a way, sort of half man, half camera, if, if you see what I mean. But he has a, he has a knack of, of being, of sort of m melding, melting into the background and making himself invisible. And he's, you know, he's very sort of dis discreet, modest person. So he's not, in, he, he's not intrusive, um, either as a personality uh, or, um, or really as a cameraman. Um, yeah, he's got a camera, but it's a kind of s small thing. It's not a frightening thing and uh, you know after a while I, be, I kind of became accustomed to that okay so he's filming me well so what so yeah there was a sort of low level of stress um, attached to it but then you know the, the whole adventure in its way was quite stressful anyway because you know none of us knew what was going to happen next and there were a lot of things that could have gone wrong and a lot of things that well, did go wrong or very nearly did go wrong and so forth so it was kind of you know seat of your pants type thing mm -hmm. so the you know the camera in a way was part of the adventure if you like or part of the challenge you know we're going to do this um, no you know not just going to do it but we're going to do it live on camera so how about that um, I'm very pleased with the result I don't think either of us knew certainly from the beginning where it was going uh, and I don't think we really knew until the film was finished what the film was going to be like or even really what it was going to be about. Um, and I hardly saw any of the uh, footage as we went along because Ed was reluctant to show it to me because he felt it might um, inhibit me or make me, you know, a bit more self-conscious than I was otherwise. So it wasn't until I saw the film complete you know that I had a chance to sort of um, see what it was all about myself really or how it looked or how it translated into film and I was very much in Ed's hands as far as that was concerned but um, um, I trusted him and uh, and I think he's he's repaid my trust it's not quite what I was expecting and it's very much a sort of warts and all portrait of me and it's painted in you know in Ed's own unique way, using his uh, his imagination and his palette, if you like. Um, but nevertheless, I think it's a it's a fair portrait. It's recognisable, but it's something more than just a portrait. It's it, it's it's a work of art, really. Um, and it's yeah, it's it's about me. It's to do with me, but also it's to do with something else. It's something rather more than the sum of its parts. You know, guys getting in these homemade submarines and people going on go-fast boats and dr uh, tucking narco torpedoes, people, uh, bales being shoved in the corner of like these freighters and all kinds of just really, really crazy stuff.